First, a food service worker at Comerica Park arrested after a stomach turning video went viral. You saw that video first on 7. Now we're learning more about it from the co-worker who pushed the record button. He told 7 Action News reporter Bethany Moore what happened when he sounded the alarm and why this may not be an isolated incident. It's called the approval game. What I would do is hire a crew. They'll go inside the candy store or go inside of a jury store and make a purchase. When they card decline, they'll contact me on the other line. Why, why are they contacting you? So they go in there and they make a purchase for about $65,000. What the fuck? I don't give a fuck. Push! 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 Figure that shit out, dog! You got legs, you got arms, you got a brain, you got money. Figure that shit out. Yeah. 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 Welcome back. Back in the building. Back in the mother in building. Yeah. yeah. Building. This yeah. your podcast crew. This yeah. your podcast. <laughs> Yeah, you know I mean, turned up for the summer. Yeah, hey. just, just the summer. We only turned up for the summer. I thought no, we I mean, I'm up just saying, we turned up. No, no, we always turned up, but yeah. it's a little extra when it's hot. When it's hot, hot. Yeah, and it's definitely you know hot. I mean? in the two one five. Oh my gosh! Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Go. It's all your already hot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, T. <laughs> you know, all right. We gonna do a ladies first introduction. Yeah, nope. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. We saving oh. the best for last, like I'll Vanessa Williams now, said. Gee. Make up your mind. Save the see. best. Is it ladies <laughs> first or save the best for last? I can't. See, you see, you see, you see. You know, she just makes shit up as she go along. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, look, well, y'all do too. In today's, so why can't I? In, in today's segment of, <laughs> come on now, no, 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 uh, don't even dare, CJ. Black woman. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like a black just woman. Just like a black Stop woman. Stop it. <laughs> Y'all, y'all supposed to be family. Why y'all gonna be hating on me all the time? I don't There's get no it. There's no hate. We just we just pull yeah. out the uh, y'all, y'all do be hating. We on We just me. pull out the truths. What That's truth? It. When we what's see the truth? Him. What's the truth? CJ, tell me what is it? It's not. I don't want to get into it. For real? We got the people waiting. They want to see the no, video. No, uh-uh, because so. that means you ain't got nothing to say. Okay. <laughs> Uh, it's well, not hate it's all it's love BTS behind the scenes you know what I'm saying we'll talk about <laughs> oh man so th- we're gonna get to the introduction and then I'm gonna go through the opening yep 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 opening mm-hmm. As as usual we got Los right here yeah. oh should I get myself some class yeah, get myself yeah. some class man get myself some class that's the building what's happening yeah then over here to my to listen, the right of me. Listen, I'm still the one handed bandit, but um, I took my my brace off because it's too damn hot for that thing on my hand. I will be putting it back on after the show. But I mean, y'all know the slogan, but I can show you a little better. Let me, let me show you. Yeah, 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 there it is. There it is. I do a lot, but can't do much. I don't do the most. You got yes, this joint podcast merch is coming soon. Yeah, he do do the most. Very, very Y'all soon. just don't know that well. Oh, that's what I'm talking they about. Cooking up right now as we speak. And then yes. you know over here, hey, the best for Every Puerto Rican man's dream. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. We're gonna hit all nationalities. <laughs> We're gonna hit all nationalities. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Before the summer's up, y'all. Wait, just, oh, you know, honey dip tea. Hmm. God damn it! I was about to say just don't, but I'm gonna leave that out there. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Got, the, got them Puerto Rican men talking about let me put some salsa on. Hello. Mommy. <laughs> Wait a minute, that's Mexican. Uh, Mexican? <laughs> Shit, I don't know. Oh, the no disrespect. We love all our Latino and Hispanic brothers yeah, and sisters. Man. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> Welcome to this show on podcast, y'all. We got a great show for y'all tonight. Yeah. Yes, sir. Please sit back, enjoy the show, laugh, watch some videos with us for one full hour. But before we get started, we need for you to hit that like button. Like. Hit that subscribe button. Subscribe. Hit that comment button as you please. And Make sit, sure y'all sit comment. Five dollar ass down before and teammate also, change. also, yes. We, I am going to make some change. Make sure y'all follow us on Amazon. We on Spotify. Where else? Where else? YouTube Music. Yeah, where, where else? Where else we at? Um, iTunes. Pandora. Yes. Pandora. Yes. We so just join. Yeah, just join. Go, go look us up. Hey, yeah, hey, go say, follow. Say, say this join in Spanish. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. It was, it was very easy. It's very easy. You know why? 
Because there's no Spanish word for dis or don't. <laughs> oh, okay. See, look. At least I'm not. At least I'm not fabricating like I act like I know. No, I don't know. I know like the the introductory introductory words and numbers. That's about it right now. You know. Oh, okay. A couple okay. things. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll right, see. That's, hello. Yeah, yeah. Hola, hola. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Sorry, hey, I, 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 I had to correct myself. I know. Hola Spanish. is hello. Yeah, the Spanish you know. Excuse me. What are you talking about? He Lo said he knows Spanish. I know, man. Oh. Casamigos. <laughs> oh, oh, there he go. oh, that's, a, that's, a, <laughs> that's a big one. <laughs> Casamigos. He's talking about a damn drink. That's one of the best Spanish <laughs> words ever. Yeah, God damn it. <laughs> Casamigos. No. Shout out to Casamigos. The best word in the English language. We talking is, about Spanish. No, we, we talking about word, period. What is it? Honey did tea. Yes. That's yes, more than yes, one yes, word. Yes, okay. yes. Honey did Come on now. You in the I second segment it. of Just Like a Black Woman. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Did you say anything? <laughs> I hate y'all. <laughs> All right, let's go. We got to the first video. So All right, we first get video. to the first video. Uno. Go ahead. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, shit. Rolling. That's what I'm talking about. Look, Keep I'm it ready. rolling. I'm God ready. It. Keep it rolling. Get ready. Stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Hey. Exactly. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. First video. We got a 20-year-old food service worker at Comerica Park in Detroit. Was charged with a felony count of food law. I don't even know what that is. You know, I didn't. I didn't know they even had that. But you know what? Except he might kick this off. It's Fish Jump Podcast. Oh. Let's go. First, a food service worker at Comerica Park arrested after a stomach turning video went viral. You saw that video first on seven. Now we're learning more about it from the coworker who pushed the record button. He told 7 Action News reporter Bethany Moore what happened when he sounded the alarm and why this may not be an isolated incident. You're right, that former employee has been arrested and the other employee that took the video says he was just trying to warn others. Quinnell May says when he heard what the other employee said he was going to do to the pizza on Friday, he was in shock. And I asked him, was he serious about that? Like, was he really going to spend the custom pizza? And he said, yeah. So I put out my phone to have proof just in case he did it. May said he tried to report it to his manager, but wasn't heard. So I went home and I posted the video to show people what was going on because they obviously didn't want to listen. I was going to stay after to go down and speak to the HR to not cause a scene and a stand, but they didn't want to listen to me. That video went viral on Facebook and Instagram. In a statement, Detroit Sports Service, the food and beverage providers at Comerica Park said they closed that food stand when they found out and got rid of the tampered with food. But May says that that employee says he's spitting the food before. He said he's done it before and he's been working there for three years or two or whatever he said. So it's no telling how many people probably looked over it. And I was just that one person to catch it and film it and turn it in. But May says even though he was trying to do the right thing, he was fired over the phone for posting the video. And you can see in this text message with his supervisor at the park, he was asked to take the video down. I'm disgusted at him for spending a pizza, and I'm also disgusted at Comerica Park for threatening to sue me for posting a video and exposing it when they should be worried about him spitting in the pizza. But Detroit Sports Service say he wasn't fired but has been suspended, and that, quote, no one acting in an official work capacity asked him to remove the video. The prosecutor's office is still reviewing the case for possible charges. Bethany Moore, 7 Action News. All right, Bethany. Oh, wow. Uh, How did... How they suspend him? Maybe they had. So this kind of yeah. sort of goes back to that whole thing that we had, like, you know, a couple sessions ago, yeah. with that whole social media policy. A lot of these companies now are starting to implement social media policies. Like, literally, if he was to post something that can negatively impact his job. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And if he signs that, that's why he probably got in trouble. But, see, but the thing he said to me, but he went to them and they didn't do anything. So maybe he should have went above his immediate supervisor. That's probably what uh, he should Oh, like a did. GM or something like that? Yeah, something like that, yeah. Uh, oh, what shit? Man. What, what's the little but boy see, name? What's the boy that spit? Did they say his name? I don't know if they said his name. I don't know, but that, that stuff, it just turned my stomach. Listen, if I ever went to Comerica Park at any point and got something there, the, I'm, I'm following his case to the T. Because the moment he get to come out the courtroom, I'm whooping his ass. Because <laughs> I don't know if I'd have ate some stuff that he didn't spit in. So I'm whooping his ass. And if you like he was cooking pizza. If you from Detroit, 
You should be everybody that ever went to a and Comerica Park is for people who don't know that's the Detroit Tigers their baseball stadium. <laughs> so if you've ever attended a baseball game, you should be at the courthouse ready to whoop his ass <laughs> soon as they give him bail or out of release him on his own recognizance or whatever. Oh. The moment he he step in the street, not on the court grounds, because you know, that might get, that might right. get husky for you. Yeah, right. as soon as he hit the it's street, like you about to get charged. <laughs> Man, might get little, that might get a little. <laughs> knock his ass out because i that's just that one thing i don't i don't play with stuff like that that's not a prank mm-hmm. to me that's not funny Ooh. to me mm-hmm. no like that's dirty but but peep it three years he's he been, been three years that means he spit he been, hawking, right. he been hawking loogies all <laughs> all oh just god. oh my god <laughs> anyway but now this thing i know at citizen bank ballpark home of the uh phillies you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. You can see them making your food because it's wide open. Well, they need to do that at every park. Like, yeah, yeah, but America see, that park. look a little wide open. But then again, he was like his bag was turned. Like in the back. So, right. Something. I don't know. So I don't I don't know. Because we don't know like the whole makeup or and how that whole. Wait, ain't that some shit? I don't shit know. But just the, just the fact of how. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> See, that just that just reminds me on why I don't like eating fast food and why I just cook the hell at home. Oh my god, because I know <laughs> how I cook my food and it ain't tainted no kind yeah. of way. I mean, you I don't, don't know have to that. worry about nobody's uh, dirty you fingers. Don't, you don't cook it with extra spit. Hell no. <laughs> before they bag your ch- before they bag your chicken breasts up, you never know who balls might have been on the diet. You never know. Oh, Somebody dang. just in there bagging up your, your chicken and putting it in the saran wrap. Okay. First of all, you never know. You Talk about it's halal. You, you gotta okay. clean your chicken all too. Yeah, extra seasoning. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. all right, so look, let's go to the first comment. We go to the first comment? Yeah. Look, CJ must like his chicken like that. Balls. Damn. Damn. I'm, yeah, a, that. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a pescatarian. Extra ballsy. Balls. <laughs> no. All right, look, the first comment. So it says HR and management need to be fired. All of them. The whole fire, the whole park. If he, if that, if that young man is telling the truth, and I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. Mm-hmm. I used to work in HR, so I, I understand. If he went to his manager, his manager did nothing, and then HR didn't do anything, yeah, fire all of them. They so all. So my did thing is, is like, how did he know to record him at that particular time? Well, what well, he, he said, said, he told he him that he was about to spit it. in it, and he's like, "Oh, you gonna do it? Oh, I'm gonna record it." Yeah, and he recorded it. Yeah, that's hey. nasty. Like, no. HR, get them out of there. Get a new HR. Yeah, that's major nasty. Yeah, but imagine and how, look, and imagine if somebody else is doing it and it just wasn't recorded. Imagine how many people well, is in well, that park what? that that go to the bathroom and don't wash their hands and then go back to the food. Well, you know what? Let me let me let me think about it. As many times as you ate out, how many times do you think someone spit in your food? Oh my god! I hope mm-hmm. Think about it. I don't want to think about. Damn, it. Damn, ain't that something to think about? No, it's not. Are you no, sure? No, I'm, I'm sure it's not I'm nothing to think about. Completely, absolutely sure. <laughs> no, I do not want to think about that. No. I mean, if you ever seen those, uh, them like investigative reports just from the, the the restaurants downtown where they be having all the rats and all that running around. So I'm pretty sure you didn't probably have some some rat droppings in your, <laughs> in your risotto or something. Like, <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, yeah. it's happened. Yeah. So okay. This is why I say, just in general, why you always treat people in the food industry with respect. Oh, you got yeah. to. Because you, you never know. Will somebody look? Hey, okay, yep, you got it. You, you need some more time to cook. Yep, all right, I'll I'll sit. I'll stand right here. All right. People it's, be cracking me up how they be getting rude. Yeah. Ignorant with people that they got your food. They say customers oh. king in the in the hospitality industry. The chef is the king. <laughs> like, right. Take your time, play. Take your time. Oh, exactly. Yeah, hey, I want to know. You want me to massage your, your, your back? <laughs> your back while you uh, back. do my food. <laughs> I need you to be relaxed. <laughs> so, look, second comment. So, the second comment says, I hope this man gets rewarded somehow for exposing <laughs> this since the employer did nothing about it. Yeah, hopefully, somebody see him, you know, being a good Samaritan and try to get him a job. So, but, but, people, though, you know, motherfuckers in the hood, they will try to call him a snitch. Right? Yeah, exactly, because that's how I was just about to yeah, say. Yeah, you know, they try you to know call what him they a snitch. They're going to do say, oh, yeah, why you do that? <laughs> Yeah, but that's just, people food. yeah. So his mother, his mother raised him right. If that was my son, I would be proud of him. Yeah, give it to my man. Give it yeah. to my man. Where the, the yep. claps at for the young man? Let me yep. get the claps on real yes. quick. Yeah. Yeah. Man, bear to you, young man. No, he ain't no damn bear. He's a miter. 
He wasn't no minor. He's 21. He that's 20 21. Ain't no I'm damn minor. Playing. I'm just playing. Yeah, you know I mean, <laughs> he got hair on what? the mustache and everything. Why are you trying to offer everybody an alcoholic beverage? Like, come on. Because everybody don't drink alcoholic beverages. It's better than offering hey. crack. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I can't <laughs> offer him no Gucci. <laughs> offer them some water. I got some water for you. Man, nobody want no damn water. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look, look, look. So the third and last comment says, "This is why I don't go out to eat. I don't trust people." Yeah. See. And it, phew, yes, 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 yeah. That's why I came out. To, I asked you again. How many? How many times that you think my I don't. I don't Ain't think about shit? it. So no, I haven't thought about it. Listen, I, and I don't want to think about it. Damn. When my, mm-hmm. when my cousin uh mm-hmm. shout out to my cousin Doug, his birthday was yesterday, but when he oh, worked, big shout out to Cuz. He worked at Burger King, <clears throat> excuse me. And I remember them saying that like at the end of the night when people would come in with all kind of random stupid requests, I like, say if they wanted like ten burgers. They would take the burger, drop it in the mop bucket, and then what? Put, it, what? put it on the grill. Oh. So I know, I know for a fact, oh, shit. stuff like that oh, happens you know all what? the time. What goes around comes around. Oh. That's just ignorant. Hold on, bro. That's they not would, even they funny. Would, they would drop the burger in the they mop would, bucket. They would put the burger on the grill, get it hot, drop it in the mop, in the, in the mop that water. That is ignorant. Why do you even water. think that's funny? <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you know, you teenagers, you do dumb stuff. No, like, <laughs> no. That's just out of control. I ain't never going to Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> Look, both of my sons both worked at Burger King, and I know they, they probably didn't drop the my burger no, in the bucket. No, because my sons are like me, like because they they clean like me. I guess because they ain't got no choice, because that's what they know. But my son, I got my especially my oldest son. He was like, Mom, I had to clean up after this person. That person. At least I know my oldest son. My my youngest son, I don't, I don't put that by, I don't put that by but, him. But you know, have you seen some of the videos that they be showing that the people be fighting the the workers and going at the drive through and the, yes, what? literally, I had to there, actually go. Yo. I actually I had to actually go to a Burger King one time because some people from another race call themselves being a little. And you know, word. racist, right? With yeah. my son, what? Yeah, and I had to go and pick him up because they was in the drive through being ignorant. And then he said, "Mom, they sitting outside." I'm like, "Look, I don't need oh, you they was acting, outside waiting on him, acting a fool." Yeah, because my son, his temper it goes from like zero to like a hundred. He kind of sort of like me, like when I was younger, so yeah. I, and I got to tell him all the time, like, "Look, keep it, the, Mom, no, because blah, 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 I, I'm, a, I'm like, look, chill, chill the hell out. I'll be there." No, and by the time I get there, like he outside, I'm like, see, this is what I'm talking about. Damn. I'm like, do you not realize you got to come back here to work tomorrow? <laughs> like, I can't come up Damn, here every at that, day. At that particular <laughs> moment, he don't give a flying fuck. <laughs> 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 All right, listen, make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, y'all. Tell us what you say. Subscribe. I'm this joint podcast. This joint. Video number two. Video we number slide. Two. We slide. Two. We slide number two. Two. Come on, T. Say it. Dos. Close. That was real close. You know Ain't what, no man? We, we, we still give it a prize. Yeah. We still give it a prize. Yeah. She hit it, y'all. <laughs> because CJ is just a hater. Say, Go ahead and say it, CJ. It's dos, not dos. Dos. I said dos. <laughs> you said dos. <laughs> All right, look. I said dos. A father paid 250 grand cash for a house and ended up homeless after he retired from his job. The hell? Ain't that some shit? Let's find out yeah. what happened. Is that Peanut. how you do that? Yeah. And T. This and T. Podcast. <laughs> Aww. Let's go. This man drove trucks for 35 years. He was married for 16 years. He worked hard and saved up his money and paid cash for a $250,000 house. This man ended up homeless. Let me explain. Most of this man marriage, he was an over-the-road truck driver. He would stay out for three to four months at a time and come home for two weeks. Him and his wife had a beautiful relationship. She understood his job, so she never complained about him being over the road. They had three children together, and they didn't lack anything. They was well taken care of. Eight years into their marriage, they will always rent a house until the husband did the unthinkable and surprised the wife with a brand new house he saved up and paid cash for, $250,000. As the husband would drive trucks over the road, he started to develop health issues. He struggled with his weight, diabetes, high blood pressure, back issues, and many more issues. So one time the husband came home from over the road. He had a long talk with the wife. He said he was thinking about quitting trucking because it was taking a toll on his health. 
When he told the wife, she wasn't too happy about it. She kept questioning him, what is he going to do for income? He told her maybe he can start a little business or something. But he said he was very happy that he would be able to be home every night and spend time with his wife and his children. Plus, he has so many doctor's appointments due to his health issues. So it's just more convenient and it make more sense he do something at home. So he stayed over the road for another year until his health just couldn't take it no more. And then he retired. He was very happy he retired. It was a huge relief off of him. Also, he felt very comfortable retiring because he paid cash for a house. The only thing he had to worry about is paying taxes. When he retired, it was different. Him and his wife never spent that much time together. So three months after him being retired, him and the wife was button heads on everything. They couldn't agree on nothing. It was like they was different people when they was living together. It got to the point where the wife wouldn't even sleep in the same bed with him because he had sleep apnea and sometimes he wouldn't wear the mask since he wasn't driving trucks anymore. And when he didn't wear the mask, he would snore all night and the wife couldn't sleep. She hated that. So she started sleeping in another room. It got so bad where him and the wife wouldn't even talk. She wouldn't even cook for him. Sometime it would be so bad he would consider going back over the road. A year after he retired from driving trucks, the unthinkable happened. His wife divorced him. The house he saved up and paid cash for, $250,000. He lost that house in divorce court. He had nowhere to stay. He slept in his car for two months until he couldn't take it no more. And he was forced to go back over the road and drive trucks. After his wife divorced him, the only time they would talk is if it was about the kids. When he went back over the road, he stayed out for three to four months like he normally do. And he came home. He decided to pick up his children and get a hotel so they can spend time together. He tried to call his ex-wife, but she didn't answer the phone. So he just popped up at the house to see if he can pick the kids up. When he knocked on the door, another man came to the door. And she came rushing to the door saying, why you didn't call? And she had a ring on her finger. The ex-husband was standing at the door in shock that another man came to the door. And the ex-wife noticed he kept looking at her ring. Then the ex-wife started crying and said, I'm sorry. I didn't want you to find out like this. The ex-husband left the house crying in pain, didn't know what to do. He went back over the road and drove trucks for several years until one day he died in his truck. And you know what? A lot of people that drive Damn. them trucks, they die in them trucks. They they in them trucks for so long. I mean, that's you live. That's hard work, man. Living First on the of road. all, OK, you know what? I, I got a bone to pick with this so-called wife of his. Shit, pick that bone. Look, because first of all, all she had was the title. She wasn't no real wife. She had a bone on her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> My whole thing from, is, is like, how he not even guy. recognize, you a mess. <laughs> how he not recognize the signs that, come on, that she wasn't dealing with somebody else? Because <sighs> it was apparent once he came home, but at the end of the day, yeah. it sounds like what she wanted was his money. Because my thing is, is, as your spouse, you have certain duties to fulfill. She didn't fulfill those duties. He did his as a husband. She didn't do hers as a wife. Well, she had no intentions on, on doing Obviously it. not. She sounded like she just wanted his know, money. You know what that was? As soon as he retired, she said, shit, I can't do get my cheating on. Because you know, that's you know what, what I mean? she was doing. Because yeah. a lot of times them chicks, especially if they're not serious and you know that he on the road for certain periods, a long periods of time, oh, mm -hmm. they got the freedom to do whatever. That's why she changed up on him like that when he started being home. Because like, yeah. oh, damn, now I can't be around my quote unquote man. <laughs> yeah. like, I can't be around my man, Dingo. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. <laughs> In the words of the illustrious poet, Chris Brown. These three oh fours ain't loyal. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it's just that simple. At the end of the day, these hoes ain't loyal. You could call me Petty Murphy. You could call me Petty, Petty Wop. Because guess Petty what? Tender Petty Tendergrass. Petty <laughs> Tendergrass. At the end of the day, if I pay, I don't give a damn if I pay $2 for the house. And if I pay they a pay quarter of a million dollars for a house, dang. And, and you telling dude? me. Into my door. I, I don't even Damn. care about that part. I don't even get. I don't even, even got to get there. The day that that divorce uh, judge tell me that she got it, I'm gonna say, all right, cool. Listen, I'm gonna send you on a vacation, and then we gonna just part our ways. I'm gonna send her on vacation, and she gonna come back to rubble. 
Is she that house burn that is going to be... I didn't know. <laughs> oh, let me tell you that you're going to do a tea, a tea buys. <laughs> a tea, that's, that was left eye. <laughs> I mean, let's ask Mr. I'm going to do eye. a tea buys, left eye, chili, <laughs> SWV. I'm burning it. I ain't burning it down. I'm blowing it up. Because burning it down, you could probably put it back together if it ain't that burnt. No, so that's getting a firebomb. See, she <laughs> is the reason why. She is the epitome of why men don't want to get married. You know what? Well, you know what? Hold on. Oh, man, my man Plog. Let me, let me get Plog some quick shout outs real quick, man. Plog Owen. Plog. Plog Owen the building, y'all. Now, this is that, that. See, men, some men be seeing this shit. They be seeing the signs of, you know, you got to ain't shit be. Yeah, but, but then they still don't look do past nothing that. because of the kids. Man, that's fuck what, them kids. That's why. <laughs> let me tell you something. Man, nine man, out, fuck them kids. Nine oh. out of ten men that I know that that are in those relationships with those women is because of the uh, because of the kids. Yeah, hold up, real, real quick, Wicko. We got it, man. Thanks for subscribing to was it two one oh one. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> hey. we hey. welcome to the party, pal. Uh, listen, listen. Guys be seeing these signs. They be seeing how these women are, but they still look past that shit. He he probably deep down he probably knew his wife wasn't shit. Come on, man. Two hundred fifty thousand dollars, man. Would you say he probably didn't but know? No, like you he didn't say? know. CJ, you know what? that's BS. He's not yes, around. I would say. How would he know? But she wouldn't. CJ, be there. by the time he came home, how did he not know? But if you want to roll all the time, he don't know that she she finessing all this. If he he driving trucks, he doing this thing. He, I think said he been in there. the video that once he started coming home, yeah, she wouldn't once sleep he got little, home, that's but, what I'm saying. But so she built all that up when he didn't know. It'd be different if he was around and she was doing yeah, all that. Yeah, yeah, that's he different. He got home yeah. and it's like, damn, oh, you different. I, I right. didn't know this because I was out working. Right. So that's why it makes it even worse. If he would, if he would have known he was there and she started acting different. Yeah, cool. but if he's going and he said he was going for months at yeah, a time, so he didn't know that that was. So that right. makes her even worse. Like, yeah, still working. My thing is, I I feel so that somebody's guys be knowing that they women ain't shit he and, probably and they be looking past it and, and come see, on now and you know be, your woman you they have to sacrifice and pay for, for everything like not just financially emotionally physically like come on she Look, she literally took take, everything from him he did all that work all those years of, of hard work she did nothing but stayed the hell home listen let me tell you something before i put up a, a quarter of a mil I'm running a, a quick another background check because I'm gonna Come get a first on now. You ain't gonna find no I'm back. running a background. Somebody's personality is not gonna be in a background check. Let me check. finish before you start taking off for these heifers. heifers. I ain't taking up for nothing. <laughs> I'm running a, a background check and I'm hiring a PI. Okay. Follow that heifer around. I want to okay. know who's coming in and out of my house, where she going because I'm about to put up a. You probably put up a quarter of a mil cash. All right, now, I, need I, to know. I, I agree with the PI. Yeah, I need to know. Ain't no background check going to re reveal all that. Because yeah, but you gonna you run it anyway. I want to know what turns. It's a simple want. solution. I, want, I like to know. <laughs> <laughs> simple solution. All right, you, you joke now. <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean, I want to know. God damn it. What's, what's your solution, simple CJ? Simple solution. Two words. Prenuptial agreement. <laughs> oh, there you go. I'm not, if I ever get married, I don't care if I got $3 or $3 billion. Prenuptial agreement. And guess what? Until it gets signed, the uh, you'll have the engagement one. But the ban, he ain't never getting it. I don't care. No, it's too many. I don't understand how guys even, shout out to my man, Iman Shumper. He going through the same thing right now with Tiana Taylor. About to take half of his earnings. Right. Half she got of the her money. Own money. He, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, how greedy is that? <laughs> and she got his money. Right. <laughs> like, come on, man. Look, that's what I need to be doing. Prenup. I need a prenup. I'm trying. I'm trying to set you up with some of these these uh Puerto Rican these or these uh, Mexican men. I'm trying to get you poppies. I, I, trying to get I, I, you a I, nice I told sugar you poppy. Before, a poppy with a poppy. I told you yeah. before, I don't want the short term. I'm trying to get you a sugar poppy. No, I'm good. <laughs> sugar poppy. <laughs> so we go to the first comment, y'all. Mm -hmm. So we got first comment says, if this story doesn't convince you to stay single, nothing will. Damn. Damn. I don't even say I stay hey, single. I, I I just don't get it. I'm just a little dumbfound with how. Well, you know, let, let me just honest people are. Well, yeah, yeah, because you know, it's just it's just very disheartening, you know, for people to be like that. Well, let me. Are you going to make your future husband sign a prenup? I never thought.
thought of that. I mean, shit, you better. Cause this <laughs> young, we gonna blow the <laughs> fuck up. <laughs> yeah, that. I mean, look, I don't you know. Better. I don't know. I never thought of it. Because I mean, my previous situation that wasn't a thing. Like he had his stuff, I had mine, and everything was like a shared mm-hmm. thing. But I mean, I haven't been at that point again yet. But I don't know. Yeah, I'll I'll be your legal advisor. Oh, here I you got go. You. <laughs> I got I got you covered. I got T covered. Yeah, right. You gonna tell me to to kick somebody out and then uh women throw their stuff outside on the thirty yep. first? Yep. <laughs> Yep. Hold up, what you would do to your ex? <laughs> yeah, I left that I left that husband. Yeah, you on t- the you said you, you, t- you, you took the iron board? I took the motherfucking <laughs> ironing board. I took the cover off the fucking ironing board. You got nothing. That's the advice you gonna give me. Yep. <laughs> you gotta get petty. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I'm taking one side of the door now. Oh my so God. you either gonna be in or you're gonna be out. How about yep. that? You ain't gonna Hell be in or you do both. You're gonna be in or you're gonna be out. <laughs> Yeah, I'm taking it all, God damn it. So shall we go to the, the next the oh, next God. comment? Please. So the next comment says <laughs> This story would have ended with me dying in prison. Not me. Because arson is like a ten year sentence. <laughs> <laughs> so I would have sent yep. her on vacation that's so that's they only knew that's they, only ten. So they knew that she wasn't there. So they wouldn't try to hit me with an attempted murder or something. So I sent them on vacation and I firebombed the house. So <laughs> arson or whatever, I think that's like a 10 year sentence. Let me let me tell you a little something, CJ. Don't ever let any of your houses catch fire because you know this is going to be on the internet forever. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, my rental properties, I'm never going to put them on fire. That makes me money. <laughs> so you ain't got to worry about that. But you're just, just going to put the main house. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I can get another main house. The rental ones keep the money coming in. So yeah, that one got to go. We both be at a shelter. They gotta go with the with the with the chick. Yeah. No, she ain't going. Uh, let's 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 reiterate that. She gonna stay alive. We gonna put well, that I'm out there. I'm talking about that. I'm talking about like she gotta go oh, like yeah. out of your life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep, she bad. She gonna start from scratch. <laughs> ain't and gonna she it, no, it ain't. Well, but then again, well, I guess it's not from scratch if she already got somebody. Hey, yeah, whatever listen, it is. She had, she had a man blowing her back out. All the all the years he was on the road. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this, well, is, but this is shit that kills guys, me. Guys do the same thing. No, a lot of about that. guys don't be no, picking no, up on these signs, man. Guys don't be picking up on the signs. Guys, y'all guys We're not be doing speculation. Women. We hey, talking hey, about hey, this hey, story. Hey, 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 hey. I'm just saying, in general, guys be having a whole wife, girlfriend at home, and be having the variety of other chicks. That ain't the story. We talking about this story. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute, I got something. I got, I got something. I got something dumb. See, the minute, the minute I switch it off on y'all, then I'm wrong. Because y'all don't want to hear the truth. Let the truth shall set you free. Yeah, here she go. So the last comment <laughs> says, sound like she liked them gone because she couldn't cheat anymore. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And that's what we talked about. Real right. fours ain't loyal. Yeah. They're not loyal. You know, she probably was one of the women that was spending eleven $1, hundred dollars get Chris Brown. Look, and she attention. probably yeah, was man. ugly too. Yeah, that's not like let's 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 dive deep. She probably was ugly. <laughs> she was probably Technically, ugly. Technically, no one on this earth is ugly because somebody obviously thought she was beautiful enough to marry her. So listen, garbage is garbage, right? <laughs> I know I'm not garbage. Even if somebody eats it, it's still garbage. <laughs> it's garbage. So she probably was ugly, like I said. She was, I was ugly, and that man probably deserved better. <laughs> Rest in he peace, brother. He probably did. He probably yeah. did. That's a shame. It's a shame he had to die like that. Oh, hmm. did, hold on. Did you just? Did she just say that nobody's ugly? <laughs> yes. But every time we pick a nice white man for you, you always scroll past. That's what. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, y'all you trying should be to hook me. You should y'all be swiping right on me. all those profiles. Yeah. <laughs> y'all be trying to hook me up with these old guys. Like, come on now, I still got a lot of life left. Yeah, we're trying to get you a pension, baby. Yeah, let me tell you something. You I got set. my own pension. <laughs> I want somebody that I can actually enjoy looking at. Like, trying I don't to get you flued out. Man. Goodness gracious. Damn, so damn choosy. Women so damn choosy, boy. Just so like, what? Just, Y'all too. Just like a black woman. Just let me say, let woman. me tell you something. You you want to sit here and just settle for just any old woman? Let, let me tell you something. I have done a lot of ugly women in my Oh days. my God. 
Not relationship. You know what I mean? What, do you want a 10 or you want five twos? Let me tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want no twos. <laughs> Yeah, but you can have five of them. I'm not, no, I don't care. I don't. I don't want. And the, be late. I don't want the variety. Mm-mm. Oh my god, man. Anyway, Mm-mm. any anywho, anywho, nothing, nothing below a six. <laughs> Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, nothing y'all, and tell us what you think. Like, it's what, comment, it's what CJ said in the marketplace. Podcast. Disjoint. Yeah, that's, okay. that's CJ's word. Oh the my marketplace. god. Yes. Shall we go to the next video? Let's go. The next video. You ready, T? Yeah. So, are are you going to follow with Peanut or, or? Come on, yeah, I, I, yeah. Let Peanut do her thing. Let or do you want to let Peanut uh, let, let Peanut her do, do her, her thing? Shine. Let her do her shine. Let her she shine. got paid for this shit, so she needs to. <laughs> she needs to do. It. We need to hear her voice. Yeah. <laughs> you hating over there, CJ? No, I'm just saying we paying for it, so we might as well. So we got video number three. We got a woman explains the scam that made her million. Scams. <laughs> It's this jump podcast. Oh, let's go. It's called the approval game. What I would do is hire a crew. They'll go inside the candy store or go inside of a jewelry store and make a purchase. When they card decline, they'll contact me on the other line. Why? Why are they contacting you? So they go in there and they make a purchase for about sixty-five thousand dollars. And typically, when your card declines, the sales rep tell you to contact your bank. But instead of contacting your bank, you're contacting me. The same thing your bank could say. Thank you for calling Visa Merchant Services. Sarah, can I get your account number, please? Expiration date, name as it appears exactly in a cart and amount of purchase. Ask them for their Visa Merchant number. The sales rep give me their Visa Merchant number. After she gave me the Visa Merchant number, I ask her, can she ask the customer for the last four for social? Same thing your bank could say when you call on your credit card decline. Oh, shit. She verify all that with me. I make sure that everything is accurate on the customer's account. Get back on the phone with the sales rep. I have an authorization code for you. Do you have a pen and paper handy? If she need assistance with the transaction through her terminal, I assist her with that. Where's the money coming from? Your guess is good as mine. It's coming from the bank. That's why they FDIC insured. Manual transaction is what it initially is called, or forced sale. Companies and banks are not supposed to do offline for sale. However, when the other party is on the phone and they think it's a visa merchant service they continue on with the transaction mm. so what happened Damn. to her at the end of the day that's what i want to know where is she is she behind bars somewhere i, look, I wonder if she, she did is, a she as a matter of fact i'm gonna look it up and i'll i'll put oh, yeah i want to what's her name the second part in the description yeah damn if she ain't she about to be <laughs> mm. i don't know why she would go in there and explain that like you know to what? that detail though. Well, too. you know what? She she must have been arrested for her to do, to explain. Well, yeah, you know, maybe. they they normally don't yeah. explain it until they yeah. already did a maybe bit. Maybe that's it. That makes sense. You know what I mean? And then to say that she probably made millions off that shit, man. She probably from Atlanta because everybody scamming <laughs> in Atlanta. <laughs> Look, that's, all, look, that's all they do over there in the lane. Yeah. <laughs> Should be called Scam Scam Let me tell you, let me tell you how yeah, much hey. my daughter tried to get an apartment. I mean, a house over there in over there in Georgia because that's where she lived. And she was supposed to be getting this house, and she was about to get a person the, the deposit. And she she's walking up the same time as somebody else to quote unquote sign a lease. But nobody oh. else and nobody else showed up. So the other person had sent the person their money. I'm like, how you send somebody a deposit via Cash App and then you ain't even sign no lease? So oh, they getting like double deposits? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's probably it's more than double. Oh, shit. Listen, so back in the and, day, and not to mention it wasn't even their house. <laughs> listen, back in the Let's day, go out and choke the shit. <laughs> me and my brother. This is before like I didn't really know nothing about real estate at this time, especially not as much as I know now. And so I was probably like 23, 22. And so my brother like, yo, um, I know somebody that's selling these houses for like $1,000. I'm like, $1,000? I'm like, all right, cool. So the guy would give us the uh, address or whatever. We go look at them. And this is basically wholesaling. So wholesaling is basically, I'm the middleman. Los, you the seller. You sell mm-hmm. it for 500 I charge 1000 T buy it for 1000 So... You made your 500, I made 500, she got her house, everybody wins. So it's basically wholesaling. So the guy would give us the house, all right, this is how much it is, boom, boom, boom. So one time I'm like, all right, I'm like, how's he getting these, like, 
this don't make sense. Like, where's he getting these cribs? So I'm, I'm like, all right, let me do some research. And it's, it's so crazy. What he was doing, he, he was smart. But what he was doing, he was like finding houses that matched like my last name or my brother's wow. last name. So when he, he had somebody down in the city that was in records. And what they would do is they would do like, it's called an inner family transfer. And so it looked like, I remember the lady, her name was like uh, Marla or Melba Moore. My last name is Moore. He would transfer the D from her to me. So it looked like, looked like it's like family. It's your name. So like the average person that's probably doing an audit or whatever, they not going to look at like, oh, it just went from this probably his aunt or his grandma or something. Yeah. And they transferred it to him. And so I'm like, huh? And again, me and my, this is probably like months after, but like me and my brother, we bought like six of these joints and then sold them. And then literally six, eight months later, we watching the news. Main man got uh, caught up for wire fraud, um, deed fraud and all this. We like, yo. Hey, listen, you, you lucky you ain't get caught up. Right. That. Exactly. Right. Exactly. It was like. So yeah, people be out here scamming. So y'all gotta be careful, man. Oh yeah, for sure. So let's go to the it's first. It's not time. letting me I'm see sorry, all no. the details, but it says yeah, she was sitting to sentenced to federal court for yeah. seven years. She her she her name is Denisa, uh, Denisa Diamonds. That's what she goes by. Mm, she was in federal like, court, twenty five years old. Sounds like a scammer name. Is she, is she from Atlanta? No, California. California, uh, same difference. Yeah, they be they be scamming <laughs> and tricking too. So, <laughs> so we got look. So the first comment. So first comment says, that's why a merchant should always call the bank number on the back of the car. You know what I mean? Now, I mean, of course, my car never, you know, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna say my car never declined because I took a girl out on a date one time and my motherfucking car declined. Damn. <laughs> and I hit her with that be right so back. Was, oh <laughs> Yo. my God. You left her? You left her there? That is so ignorant. <laughs> Wait a minute. Y'all had already oh. ate dinner? No. You already ate that. Oh, that's Do you remember? ignorant. Do you remember your house to be on 40th yeah. Street? Yes. <laughs> Yo. Gotcha, <you>, bitch. <laughs> Diamond Dash at his finest. Hey, what? Yo, she probably yeah, still under the yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Let me tell you something. The bathroom was right there, the door. Look, I would have been right behind you. Yo. <laughs> you I, ain't look, know. I would have been, oh, let me go to the bathroom. <laughs> You ever see the six million dollar man? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Hey, yo. Yeah, it happens, God. It happens. <laughs> look, look, second comment. <laughs> look, I probably would have left you for you. <laughs> I, I bet you would. You know what I mean? Oh, we got another subscriber. We got Elaine Thompson. Elaine. God damn it. Appreciate What's you. good, Elaine? Welcome to the party. This joint podcast party. So wait, so we got the next comment. So next comment says, the purchase would not be approved without pending a pending transaction. A decline cart is still a decline cart. That's what's called a forced transaction. Right. Yeah, but that's what she said, a forced transaction. So apparently, you know what I mean, the, the merchant still put it through. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, I guess as long as they get that confirmation code and is able to mm -hmm. go through on their end, they good as long as they want is the money. I bet the probably does. the manager probably was like, oh, what the fuck? Mm, when they never right. got that money. But oh. I wonder if they had to give it back. Nah, you just got burnt. But you, but because you, you gave the product already. But remember, the uh, uh, the bank is federally insured, so they probably just gave them the money. And the bank See, which is why the bank the always be trying to steal from us, because they be trying to recoup from the, the, the fraud that be going on with these scammers. Because the bank don't want to uh, lose no, no transactions, so they're like, all right. That's sixty five thousand. We'll They'll probably just go we'll, ahead and pay we'll, it. Yeah, because well, we'll put an insurance claim on it and we get paid. So we get yeah. Paid. yeah. Now I wonder, is it a limit off like an insurance claim? Like That's if right. they lose, like is it under a hundred thousand or something like that? Well, you know, it's only it's is only insured only up insured to two fifty. So yeah, if it was anything over two fifty, they would just be like, "Listen, we can get you two fifty, but that's all we can do." What two hundred fifty thousand or yeah? Oh, get off every bank, any bank account. That's why a lot of uh. Uh, they, it was a story of um, Giannis Antetokounmpo plays for the Milwaukee Bucks. Yeah, he has like sixty accounts because you can only insure two fifty. So he yeah. has two fifty in like all these different and I don't accounts. Blame him because he's not trying to he's get insure it on, yeah, on all of them. He don't want his money to get like you know messed up. So oh shit, that's so smart. That's smart as shit. 
That's my, all right, Giannis, I see you. Or just I mean? not have it in bank accounts and have yeah. it somewhere else. Yeah. Oh, so, sure. That's the only yep. other place. So it, comment number three says, <laughs> it's a movie on Hulu or Prime about this. A true story of a man doing this. Mm. I already looked that shit up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she ain't the only one. No, hell no. Come on now. There's a lot of people out Look, that, that obviously, obvi- obviously, she had the material in the in the tools to force that transaction, and for her to know to, what to ask. I mean, she of course she had the the voice for it. Hello, uh, can I have your social security number? And what is your last name? <laughs> they probably was like, oh, that's a white woman on the line. Put that, <laughs> put that transaction <laughs> through. <laughs> Thank you, Mister Los. Thank you for verifying your information. How can I help you today? Uh, listen, I think <laughs> dang. prostitution, bootlegging like liquor, and scamming are probably the three oldest uh, oh. professions. In the world, look. Oh yeah. Scamming, oh yeah. Look, oh, yeah. scamming, scamming is 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 so diverse. People go from one from one scam to another. It, it evolves so much now these days. I think, listen, I told you, my especially, sister. especially with our people. Sorry, got got to say it. I call it. No, no, I'm not gonna let you sit here on Al Gore's internet and make up that kind of uh, uh, blasphemous uh, statement. Have you ever seen the show American Greed? Yes. Yeah, how, it ain't too many of us on American Greed. It's most of the, the mother people. Yeah, well, see, well, see, we be scamming for like little money. They scam for big money. Yes, or we do. be scamming for just like all of the just most ratchet ghetto. It's like. Come the, on, the, the Jordan Elevens. <laughs> scam for the Jordan Eleven. Like, come <laughs> on, you, you, you scamming to get a C class Benz. Like you might as well got the big boy. <laughs> oh man, so we got another subscriber. We got Lady Lady Leah subscribing. Let's give it a shout, shout out, Leah, Leah, right there. Shout yeah. out, appreciate you. Welcome to the party, Lady Leah. Yeah. Appreciate you. Digital podcast. Welcome so wait a minute. So what, was that what, was that all of uh, the comments? Uh, yeah, yes, I was. Yes, I was. Make sure you drop a like. Drop a comment, y'all. Tell us what you think. And subscribe. Yes, and thank sir. you for all the new subscribers. Welcome. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I mean, it's a Philly thing. God damn it. 215. Come on, T. Video number four. Let's go. Quattro. Let's go. Come on, T. I said it. Quattro. Yeah, that shit was we need real you to say it kind of suspect. We need you to say it in Spanish. You're yeah, saying the English version Quattro. <laughs> That's not how they said. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was real suspect, y'all. Really? Like they don't say Ramon. It's Ramon. You gotta roll the tongue. Carada. Quattro. I can do a whole lot with my tongue. Whoa! Now. Oh <laughs> shit! This joint after dark. <laughs> Patreon coming soon. <laughs> so you said do well with my tongue? Yeah. I Whoa! <laughs> I told y'all every Mexican man's delight. DM is gonna be on fire tonight. Hey, <laughs> he like, he like I'm gonna put some of you in between my tacos. <laughs> oh, wow, wow. <laughs> it's getting spicy. <laughs> oh man, so, come on, man. Let's go to video number four, y'all. Video number four. Number four. We got a homeless man that crashes out because his girlfriend didn't want to live <laughs> in 100 degree heat. Oh Lord, the clown. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> It's this drum podcast. Oh, let's go. What the fuck? I don't give a fuck. Push, 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 push. Figure that shit out, dog. You got legs, you got arms, you got a brain, you got money. Figure that shit out. Figure that shit out, yo. And stop fucking bitching, dawg. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I'm not bitching. I'm not complaining about shit. I chose this shit. I knew what the fuck I was getting into. My dad said you had to get on the fucking streets. Okay, Brianna's parents said you can't come here. They said that you can't live here. So I'm going to stay outside unless I go follow what they want me to fucking do. I don't want to follow nobody's rules. What the fuck? I follow my own rules. I follow my own rules. I do what I want to do out of my life. I don't cross nobody's boundaries. I don't hurt nobody. I just want to do what I want to do. And I don't go hurt nobody. If anything, I hurt myself. And I'm done doing that too. Yeah, Broski was livid. Listen, one of Where our- Where they li- from? 
Well, CJ, where they from, bro? Of course, he from Philly. From the two one five, the <laughs> Philadelphia. Listen, one of our legends, Rick James, he said, "Cocaine is a hell of a drug." <laughs> it's a hell of a drug. That's my one point. My second point is, I can only speak for the United States of America because I don't know how prevalent this is around the world. But right after, like homelessness, or not even after, I think it might be like one A and B. Mm-hmm. Like poverty is the number one crisis we should be solving in this country, and mental health. Yes, <laughs> because yeah. this is obviously a person with mental health. I un- I understand living by your own I rules. I didn't even understand what the hell I he was talking about. I get all of that. I get all of that. Living by your own rules, doing your own thing. I I get it. But to be homeless and to just like he, I've never heard him say he has a plan to do. Something. Yeah. He because, just I mean, don't want to do. I don't want to do what nobody else want me to do. I get that. But, but he doesn't have a do plan. do you want to do? He don't have a plan. Yeah, because we done saw, I don't know how many what videos the from hell? them. They was in the storage unit. Then they was in the hotel. Now they outside. It's yeah, like, wait remember, a minute. Now they don't have nowhere. Now yeah, they don't have no roof over there. Remember, they got kicked out of the storage unit. Because exactly. They and, then the they video. To, and, then they, and then they went to that motel. Yeah. Like, so now they on, obviously not bro. in the motel. Now you outside. But like at the end of the day, you still complaining. But it doesn't look like your situation has inc- improved at all. So nah, I don't know. You know, uh, do they have do they have children? No, I, I, I don't, I think, don't so. think so. I don't think so. But come on, man! Like, get a plan, bro. Like, I'm not First saying of all, I understand the sacrifice. I give you that. Right. You hustling, you want to sacrifice. Right. Cool. But all you doing is just being nutty. You just outside. And so being is nutty. she because that whole mm-hmm. that whole thing stand by your man. No, let me tell you something, bro. I can't do this. <laughs> not if you don't got a plan no. if you ain't got no plan you be just out here winging and it. I'm just following you f- just like aimlessly following you come and you on, ain't bro. doing nothing like come on she crazy yeah, yeah. you know you know. so look let's go to the comments let's see what the comments say so the comment is the first comment says his girlfriend is at her parents house in the AC watching this <laughs> listen <laughs> listen <laughs> And I, listen, and I say this, I say this with all due respect. I really am trying, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but I don't know if y'all remember, his lady is a little on the heavy side. Yes, she is. Oh yeah, I so bet that he, you yeah. know that he was getting on that big back. Mm. Yeah, she said, "No, listen here, Brandon, or whatever his name is, I, I can't do I this can't no do more. It. I see you in September." Come back yeah, because I remember there one of their last videos when they Damn. was in that motel and he was doing all that talking. She was like, "Mm-hmm." She wasn't saying nothing. She was like, "Mm-hmm." Yeah. Yeah, that heat get up yeah, on that yeah, back. Right. That, that heat, that heat got it. But you know, she was so, like, "Mom, Dad, I'm coming back home." Yeah. I'm coming back home. I mean, to be honest, I was nah, nah, that mom. If that was my daughter, first of all, that was my daughter. She wouldn't be doing none of that BS. But again, that was my daughter. No, but you know these, you these so-called adults. He ain't staying in my house. They gonna I agree with him. He ain't staying. Do. And that's what he said. He said Brianna's parents said he can't stay. He can there. you can't stay? I don't blame him. Yeah, yeah. Not if you're gonna purposely be a bum. That's weird. So no, you can't like, stay. Yeah, no plan. Because at the end of the day, as a parent, I want what's best for my child, and and obviously my child mm-hmm. can do better than that. Yeah, but I wonder how much money he's making off of these TikTok. I don't know. He but I know what he's making. He, he make needs to put it to use. He, he ain't making like enough to, to get a house. Use. Whatever you're making, it ain't enough to pay no rent. At the count. end of the day, there are shelters. Maybe his pride don't, I don't want, want to, to, go to. I don't want to do what nobody want me to do. Yeah. I ain't living in no shelter. He ain't living in no shelter. He out there. He out there in the woods. He out there in Fairmont Park. <laughs> right. He in Fairmont Park. Y'all, y'all see, did y'all see his furniture? <laughs> <laughs> he got the recliner. Yeah, he chilling. <laughs> so we got this little second comment. It says, <laughs> what is it? It's, I know he's forced to live out there. I know she has some support. She does not look happy. She looks she embarrassed. Right. She, listen, she she's not happy. She is embarrassed. Yeah. I don't know what it is that makes her, again, I'm going to just be a little bit honest on Al Gore's internet. How many options do y'all think she got? She ain't got that many options in the marketplace. She don't. So no. she's sticking by she him. She ass home. So she's sticking by him because I'm, I'm pretty sure if another young man came in, you know, whisper sweet nothings in her ear. She'll go right to him. Uh, and Travion, he be out there by himself. <laughs> oh, Lord. Be back to Travion. Back to Travion. <laughs> yep. Travion always fucking up. <laughs> Travion be out there by. He be really be screaming in the woods by himself. <laughs> Come on, dog. <laughs> oh man, make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, y'all, and subscribe. Tell us what you think. Yes, sir. <laughs>
This joint podcast. This joint podcast. podcast. Come on, T. What number we on, T? Cinco. Was that Spanish enough for you? Yes. There CJ? you go. There you go. I like that. What's number remember, five? Remember, man? remember we. You turn your head. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta suck your teeth. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, quick one. I'm, I'm about to quiz you. What? What's five in, in Mexican? No. Wow. Say, do Mexicans have a language? No. <laughs> I think they all speak a dialect of Spanish. That's Spanish. You know, you gotta love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So we got video number five. Operation Hot Lunch. Damn. I can't even get it. 30 people arrested for selling drugs and guns out of a food 30. truck. Come on, God. y'all. 30. God damn. They had a better, whole operation. This boy. better not be in Chicago. <laughs> Let's go. I'm somewhere in New York. It's Fish Jump Podcast. Oh. Let's go. Oh, my God. Have you heard this story? Food truck in Orange County, New York, apparently selling a whole lot more than just meals inside. Take a look at the drugs and the guns that police say were hidden in takeout containers. 30 people were busted. Cops say the ring made millions selling narcotics and weapons out of the supposed food truck parked in downtown Newburgh. Investigators say they busted one of the largest drug operations in the history of Orange County. Here's Live News reporter Marcus Solis. The lot across the street from Newburgh City Court is the spot for food trucks, but one regular is missing. The Real Spice truck has been relocated to the Orange County Sheriff's Office, not to serve up Jamaican food. It's been seized because of other items that were for sale. It sold food, it sold guns, and it sold cocaine. And Mr. Salmon was the epicenter of that. That would be 42-year-old Kirkland Salmon, one of 30 people arrested in what's considered the largest gun trafficking and drug bust in Orange County. Named Operation Hot Lunch, investigators spent six months purchasing illegal guns, firearms that were often packaged in food containers. The guns were brought up from North Carolina, the drugs from Florida. Officials say what set this enterprise apart was the level of complexity, a four-tiered system, sophistication that had never been seen before. The money of this organization uh, moved around with ease. It was invested into real estate, property, and crypto, in properties in Orange County, and other things. Prosecutors say a barber shop served as a stash house for some of the proceeds, estimated to be over $3 million a year. Nearly 40 different law enforcement agencies took part in the investigation, including the ATF and the NYPD, which had some of its undercover officers make purchases. Fighting crime knows no bounds whether it's Brooklyn, Buffalo, or anywhere in between. If you're trafficking illegal guns and drugs, we will bring you to justice. Some of the suspects face up to 25 years in prison. In Newburgh, Marcus Solis, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. All right, who snitch? Mm -hmm. Who snitch? Dying. That's crazy, because I literally said, this sound like somewhere in New York, and he said New York. New <laughs> and listen, Newburgh is like upstate New York. That's not even like, it's not even close to New York City. For them to do that across the street from a dagger, that was bold. That's smart. From the, from the courthouse. That's yeah, smart. That's yeah, you, I said it, you it was, hiding a, it was plain a good sight. idea. You hiding in plain sight. Listen, uh, not, again, I, I don't want my people because I know this is my people. I don't want my people, you know, um, you know, going to jail. I don't want them, you know, selling guns because obviously somebody's on the other end of that gun that's going to lose their life. Unfortunately, right. I don't want them uh, selling drugs because, again, that's com that's killed our community. But I got to give you all a clap for your ingenuity, <laughs> Boy, uh, your hey. innovation. Like, the, the again, this is the thing that I don't understand about criminals is like y'all are so smart to be able to do that why not make a real business i understand because the the, mm -hmm. the drug game and, the, and you mm -hmm. know the criminal game there's a, a lot more um profit so i understand right. from the profit yeah, profitability they, 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 they quick money that. Ooh, that quick that money is not always good money i know listen listen would you do t did you, would you do 15 years in jail for, for 20 million no i like my freedom yeah. Because yeah, at the end of the day, I'll you don't get the, you don't get to keep the money. But you don't have the money no more. Yeah. Then you come back out, you broke. But you see, at it. the end of the day, who's to say they probably they got they probably still got somebody doing something on the side. They stash yeah, yeah, they might got a little Look. stash spot. They got. I, I'm just. Right. I know I saw that on episode of BMF. <laughs> As a matter of <laughs> fact, it was right in the comments. It said they showed us this on BMF. Yes, they did. Makes sense. Yes, they wow. did. Wow. 
But the balls, that's ballsy to put that shit right outside the right courthouse. And again, because right outside the courthouse. Because think about it. Newburgh, New York, most people never heard of that. And it's not like it's going to be like a super crowded, like a courthouse downtown Philly, right. downtown LA, even downtown New York, where it's millions of people all over the place. Yeah. It's probably a little bit of people. And then again, you come and it, it looks like you buying food. So when you think about a food truck, Which you're going to have a lot of volume. Right. Whereas if it was a, a lemonade stand, they were like, wait. Or if it, even if, like they said, they had a stash house that was a barbershop. A, it's a not, it's not 200 gonna... people coming to get a haircut every day. Yeah. Right. So it's like, why is all these people coming in there? So the the, the again, the, the innovative process behind it was smart, but it's like, come on, y'all. Yeah. Dang, y'all selling jerk chicken and <laughs> tech nons? <laughs> yeah, let me get a let me get an AK forty seven with some of that jerk sauce. I want that jerk sauce on my AK, y'all. <laughs> let me get a Draco and some curry goat. <laughs> Die, y'all. Yeah, I mean with a double helping of uh mac and cheese. Mm. <laughs> with, with some hollow tips. <laughs> no, let's, let's go to, so the next comment says, not they were parked in front of the courthouse. I'm done. Yes. Man, the go out, man. Yeah, man. That was God. smart. Dang, yeah, but look. I guess for them, they, they it's like in plain sight. So it's like, okay, you know what? Let me watch them and see what they doing. Mm-hmm. Like, because yeah. nobody would ever think that you would do that. You nobody's right. bold enough to do that. To actually do that shit. To post up in front of the courthouse and do exactly. it. Exactly. <laughs> so the last comment says, "I bet that food was the bomb. That jerk chicken <laughs> was <laughs> slamming. <laughs> them, that, that, listen, that them, was on fire, boy. <laughs> so to all my Jamaicans, I don't, I, you know, us Americans, we call them plantains. Y'all call them plantains. Them plantains was woo <laughs> with, with, with a sprinkle of crack. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. Man, you could go get you. That some, was that was the seasoning of the day. You could go get you some coke and some oxtails <laughs> and be out. Yeah, I mean, and a silencer. <laughs> yeah, all, silence a, all in one serving <laughs> and a beef patty. <laughs> and a beef patty. Hey, goddamn! Damn. Boy, this your podcast. This Make sure you drop a like, podcast. drop a comment, tell us what you think. And subscribe. And subscribe. Make sure y'all subscribe. Thanks subscribe. Thanks for all our subscribers. Yeah, for sub- our new subscribers for subscribing tonight. We appreciate y'all. Subscribe. Yeah. Subscribing. And he a little tongue tied over there. I know. I was just trying to force yeah. it out. Yeah, you know, you had to get that coochie juice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, listen. For all our new subscribers tonight, thank you for joining us. Appreciate y'all. Bye, bitches. <laughs>